Now in this question what do we have to do? It is given that if m times the mth term of an AP is equal to n times the nth term of an AP of the same AP, we have to show that the m plus nth term of the given AP is equal to 0. This question has been asked in CBSC a few years back. So, it is a very important question that you have to see. Now, again the first term and the common difference is not given. So, let us assume that the first term is A and common difference is D. I am not writing it in detail because we have discussed it. You have to write it in detail that the first term. Let us assume that the first term is A and the common difference is D. Now, A m will be what? A plus m minus 1 into D and what will be equal what will be the nth term equal to it will be equal to a plus n minus 1 into d as per question according to question what do we have m times the mth term is equal to n times the nth term so what do we have m times the mth term is equal to n times the nth term. This is the relation we have to we have obtained. So, what do we get a m plus m into m minus 1 into d is equal to a n plus n into n minus 1 into d. We have obtained this relation or we take a to one side and the d terms to the other side. So, we have all right. So, we have n square minus n minus m square plus m into d and what does it equal to? If we combine these two together we have m minus n minus m square minus n square into d which is equal to m minus n minus m plus n into m minus n into d. What do we have from here? We have m minus n is common. So, we can write 1 minus m minus n into d is equal to a into m minus n. We can cancel out the m minus n here and what do we get? We get a is equal to 1 minus m minus n into d. This is the relation between a and d that we obtained from the given condition. Now, what do we have to find? We have to find that the m plus nth term of the a p is 0. What will be a m plus m? m plus nth term will be a m plus n. What will it be equal to? It will be equal to a plus m plus n minus 1 into d right. Now, what do we have as a? a is 1 minus m minus n into d. So, instead of a we can write 1 minus m minus n into d and we let this remain as it is. We can take d as common and what do we have 1 minus m minus n plus m plus n minus 1. 1 and 1 cancel out, minus n and plus n cancel out, minus m and plus n cancel out. We have d into 0 which is equal to 0. So, a m plus n equal to c. So, this is how we solve this question. What did we do in this question? Again the first term and the common difference was not given. So, we assumed it to be equal to a and d. Now, the mth term will be a plus m minus 1 into d and the nth term will be a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, according to question mth term m times the mth term is equal to n times the nth term. So, we have m into a m is equal to n into a m. So, we write it out we substitute the value of a m from here and substitute the value of a n from here and we write it down. Then we open up the brackets. So, we have terms which have a and which have d. We bring the a terms together and we keep the d terms together. So, a m 
a n will come this side it will become a m minus a n. So, we have taken a to be uh, to be the common factor and we have m minus n and the other side we have taken d to be the common factor and what do we have? We have n into n minus 1 minus m into m minus 1. We simplify this bracket we have now n square minus n minus m square plus m. Now, n square minus m square together minus n plus m together what do we have? We have m minus n and we have with minus sign m square minus n square. This is this can be broken down into this can be factorized as a plus b into a minus b which we did here. We get m minus n as a common factor we take it out and we get 1 minus m minus n as common and we have it multiplied with d. m minus n we have the other side as well. So, we cancel out m minus n. So, what do we obtain? We obtain a is equal to 1 minus m minus n into d. Once we have the value of once we have the relation between a and d we now write the m plus nth term. What will be the m plus nth term? It will be equal to a plus m plus n minus 1 into d because we have to find the m plus nth term. So, it is here m plus n minus 1 into d. Instead of a we substitute the value that we obtained earlier the relation between a and d. So, we have 1 minus m minus n into d and this we retain as it is. d is common here we take d common and inside the brackets we see that all the factors cancel out all the terms cancel out. So, in the end we get d into 0 which is equal to 0. So, we have figured out the m plus nth term will be equal to 0 if m times the mth term is equal to n times the nth term of any given a p. So, this was very interesting question and since this has been asked in one of your previous examinations it is very important for you with respect to your board examinations that are coming up.